Oh, I've got to go um, do a thing. What? About Carly. What about her? She's hardly said two words all weekend. You've barely been home. When are you going to make it up with her? I'm not the one that should be apologising. No? I didn't do anything. Not on purpose. Look, I know you didn't mean to set her up with a bloke like that. I didn't. But, look, you've got to put yourself in her shoes. When someone turns on you like that and you're not expecting it... Come on, you know how frightening that is. We both do. And, yeah, she lashed out. But she had her reasons, and I bet she's sorry now. <sighs> like you are. Oh, come on, Chelsea, someone's got to make the first move. No reason why it can't be you. Oh. Cool, you spend more time in front of that thing than I do. Shows. This is all for Princess Chelsea, is it? No, not necessarily. What, have you got your eye on somebody else already? Maybe. See, the problem with Chelsea is she's just a bit too eager. Right, I forgot about your track record. Can you? Ah. Oh. You blokes only want what you can't have. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. When they're back, anyway. Well, I don't know. How would I know? So, is she married and all, this new love interest of yours? They do not have to be married to be a challenge. Do you ever get bored? Of what? Playing games. Ugh, women. What? Well, you all talk about wanting someone sweet and sensitive, but no one fantasises over Mr Nice Guy, do they? Well, some girls prefer nice to being messed well, around. It's excitement, that's what it's all about. It's like a drug. Oh, and you've appointed yourself local pusher, have you? No, well, it's a dirty job. Someone's got to do it. It's not my fault if they get hooked. About what happened on Friday. What about it? I'm sorry. If I'd known what Warren was like, I never would have. <clears throat> Don't blame me for getting angry. And I shouldn't have slapped you. Nah, that's nah, fine. Um, I shouldn't have freaked out, and I'm sorry and all. Did I hear that right? Have they declared peace in our time? Looks that way. Oh, how about we all go for a drink lunchtime? Oh, um, I'm really busy. I've got car maintenance checks. Yeah, and I don't know if I can get away from the salon or be Tanya away. Come on, one drink. Yeah, prove to me this isn't just lip service. OK. So, 12 13 of it then. Good. Morning. I suppose we should be thanking you. Oh, no. Carly had him on the ropes, didn't you? Yeah. I just held her coat. Do you want to stay for breakfast? That's all right, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, toast to you. Oh, thanks, Mrs Wicks. I better go. What, you haven't eaten anything, darling? No, I'm not hungry. See ya. Grandma? Yeah? I don't think he's quite ready for stimulants yet. <laughs> oh. Here, yeah, let me give you a hand, lovely. I don't think he's capable. Yeah. Maybe we should go and see the doctor, eh? I'll give you something. Well, that horrible gun, I've already had that. No, all I need is willpower, and George is going to give me that. Well, whatever you say, that's it. Because it would help you got rid of that, like I asked you. Oh, What are you doing here? Your mum go ape if she finds her. Yeah, she thinks I'm at the library. Well, are you going to let me in before somebody sees me then? What's this? My dad's arranged for us to move to a smaller place. What? In Stratton. But that's South London. 
I don't understand. He arranged it with the council all the time last week. And you didn't tell me? Well, I didn't want to distract you from your revision. I don't care about revision. I thought I could change his mind. Look, I'm not going to go anywhere. Don't worry. I've got a plan. I'll see you later. How's Marge? Uh, which one? <laughs> Abby's been calling all weekend trying to talk to her. I kept thinking to the both of them squeaking down the phone and get suspicious. You had your dad on your case and all, checking up on the house? No, 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 there's no need, really. I mean, they're back tomorrow, so... Yeah. Uh, listen, um... I thought maybe we could meet up at lunchtime. Yeah, all right. Oh, great. Well, um, I'll see you then. I'm all right. So the people what ain't. What are these? Uh, well, it's a nicotine watch. It's not a gun, it patches. How many times Just have I told Just in case. Them? Oh, Doctor, could I have a word now? Doctor Peter tried to keep up with the shark to observe the details of the feeding process. Should she be here? Yeah? Only matters if we see each other now, does it? Nah. suppose not. Gavin tells me you're off the stratum. That's right. And if this is another attempt to try and talk me out of it, you can forget it. No, actually, I've come to say sorry. I know I've been sulking about a weekend and that was wrong. Really, I should be grateful. Should you? Yeah, I've been um, reading up about it and I can see we have a better way of life there. Rivenal House, Streatham. I believe we're on the uh, eighth floor. You know what these places are like, the lifts never work, but the exercise will keep us both in shape. Looks like the um, Streatham Arms. The local pub is 20 minutes away, so you'll be staying at home a lot more, but it means we can spend more time together, play Monopoly. Who needs alcohol to have a good time? No tube line, though. Overland and buses only. So it'd be a bit of a trek when we want to visit old mates. We'll just have to make new ones. Although, according to recent reports in the Streatham Courier, lots of people in the block don't tend to go out after dark. Lots of crime in the area. And apparently... Whoa, 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 whoa. You've raised quite a few interesting points there, mate. It's just a shame none of them are valid. We'll be living on the second floor. Yeah, I checked. I agree with you, though, that the Streatham Arms is a pretty good hike, but it ain't the nearest pub, is it? That'd be the cat and the pigeon, a mere two minutes away. And the extra cash we're going to get from the council for moving into a smaller gaff, well, that'd pay for a few taxes, should we need to visit mates and that. As for the crime rate, well, statistics do show it's pretty much the same right across the capital, which is a terrible reflection and a sad indictment of the society in which we live in, if you ask me. Nice try, me old son. Valiant effort. But we're going. And that's that. Late afternoon, do you? Well, haven't you got anything in the morning? Depends how long you're going to be. Just a manicure, was it? And a facial. Good idea. Nine o'clock, do you? Fine. Was there anything else? How's things going with my brother? Good, thanks. Are you sure about that? You were quiet this morning. Not so quiet the other night. Sean, what do you want? Can't you tell? But right, what happened? It was a mistake. Didn't feel like it to me. Now under those overalls, believe it or not, you're actually quite fit. <sighs> Look, Sean. No, I can't stop thinking about it. I bet you can't either. <sighs> Get over yourself. It was a one-off. End of. Oh, breaking my heart. You got a girlfriend, remember? Have I? Yeah, my stepsister. That's right. It's a shame you can't choose your family, isn't it? You chose her? Yeah, well, we ain't serious. Really? She know that, does she? You are really sexy when you're angry. Such a creep. You right, Kev? Stay away from me. Everything all right? Yep. Fine.
Oh, oh you give me a fright. If it's a service for us you want, I'll have it ready for you this afternoon. Um, actually, I don't have any washing. I wanted to have another go at persuading you to quit the cigarettes. July 1st is only a few weeks away. Well, there is no need for you to have no more goes at me, because I've already given it up of my own accord. Oh, really? I had no idea. That's wonderful. You've been talking to Jim, haven't you? Well, he did have a quiet word with me, yes. Look, he seems to think you're struggling and don't want to go down the nicotine replacement route, so I've um, picked you up a hypnotherapy CD. A lot of my patients find this sort of thing very useful. Perhaps you should give it a go. Hmm? Well, that's very kind of you, but uh, I don't need no help. Really? Oh, I'm rather moving into a B and B until they find a flat. You're my only option. I don't know, but it's not like F though. I swear it mine I can keep on the sofa. That's ain't the problem. Oh all right. So you're gonna let your bird push you around, call all the shots? No, it's just at some point. Sometimes... You might stop your pocket money, grind you for a month. Listen, when I lay down the law, Lee listens. Good. Nice one then. I will bring my stuff over before the exam. Oh, Darren. <laughs> I swear I've never seen so much hair on a woman. She was lucky yet. I don't know how you can want a career that involves putting your hands over someone who's hairy and sweaty. But oi, the engines are okay. I didn't say there's anything wrong with what you do. Me neither. Each to their own. Room for one more? <laughs> that dingy man outside he invited himself along. Couldn't say no, could I? I'll get them in. <clears throat> after me. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. I will no longer smell like an ashtray. I will no longer smell like an ashtray. People will be amazed at my youthful complexion. Huh. People will be amazed at my youthful complexion. <laughs> oh, how long have you been there? <laughs> Sorry. Well, when I saw the place was locked up, I thought you may have forgotten you were doing my morning shift. <laughs> well, I'll come back in a bit, shall I? I won't want a cigarette after me. No, I, uh, can't say I've ever thought about going to live you, ain't you, Kev? You want to broaden your horizons. Cracking it was. You haven't lived till you've tasted the local delicacy. Pig's ear. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't look at me. I didn't try it. <laughs> Would you try that? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> what? Chelsea didn't say where you got to your travel, Sean. Oh, you know, here and there. That in Europe, is it? Imagine you travelled a lot in the army. Yeah, I did, actually. I saw a fair bit of the world, but, um, not the best bits. There's a reason Iraq ain't a popular holiday destination. So you never thought of going back, then, to the army? What is this, 20 questions? No, it's all right. If what you mean, in these is, uh, Am I planning on leaving Walford again any time soon? Then the answer's no. There's far too many attractions here. Got a nice local, good market, tube bit of walking distance. Where are you? <laughs> local town ain't bad either. Am I right, Kev? I've never had any complaints. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Just in the lead. She looks a bit upset. Perhaps you should go after her. Hey, no, 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 no. She's had a bad experience, hasn't she? Bound to be a bit jumpy. Probably just needs a bit of space. Yeah, I've got you this. Uh, it's just a thank you for the other 